It's crazy how much you can play with him. Because now you make him trot two times bigger than the normal trot. But if you continue, he will only go more and more and more. And of course, one day will, you will see he can no more. But the, from where you start to where you're ending, it's amazing, it's tremendous. And that is so beautiful to see on the horses. For me, it's so nice to see horses like him. How double or three or five times his quality can go up in the harmony, on the regularity, on the soft, and, the, and everything. And everything is possible, and only is possible if this connection is very honest and is very true. Otherwise, it's, in Spain we say, food for today, hungry for tomorrow. You know, something like this. It's like, it means, yeah, maybe you can do for a little bit, but one day you will get a, a punch back. Because a horse is a horse, it's not a machine. And because life is like this, you cannot do what you want by faking or by trying to hide problems. So this connection will be the main thing. Do something. Okay, and that's good. But in case that a horse react like this, first, before was not very good. So it was not the moment to give it. And second, correct him, take it again, and let him know again. Because the direction always has to be low. Why low and round? Because we want that every movement pass over the top and not from the top. Very good. Counter, 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 counter. Very good. It's very important to create contact, to develop anything on the horses. Always, everything we do on the horses start from behind. We first create movement. When we have power, movement, going forward in the mind, and now you, like you are doing, stay in the circle, hold your rein, keep a little bit extra forward counter, and when you have a good feeling, uh, lose the weight. This is a good one, lose the weight. Lose more, more, more. Very good. And pick up the reins. Yes, yes. Up with your hands a little bit, that is not too low, yes. Everybody is allowed to have a little bit of his mobility, is it? Something that you get in love for. I get in love from this kind of horse. Uh, he's my negro. I love, I love that uh, rhythm line. Uh, one, of, oh, one of the high moments of my career as a learning, as a rider, being in Van uh, riding this style of horses. And that was a very, very amazing experience for me. So, before we've been talking about the breathing, about the losses, everything can be developed, but the horses like this is something special to us. My age, he learned my language, and he responds in the way I want. Good boy. So all what I write here is to provoke something happening and congratulate him. And again and again. And provoke this one and congratulate him. Good boy. Because that is all what I want. But I told you it's really, 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 really so bouncing, so powerful. Very good. Hard pass. Good. James. Hard pass. Good. James. Hard pass. Eh? So I don't counting. I don't mind right now the number. But I want that he really, when I go in the new hard pass, sorry, when I go for the changes, he already moves sides. And then he does together. And that make it more pretty. I go for the one tennis. And the one and the same. I want for the one thing is that he wants to do it. A lot by himself. I hold him. Come, boy. Uh -huh. Come, 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 come. Good boy. Good boy. 
and come and don't slip. Little bigger, little bigger. Yeah, oh boy. I think that will be very special when they are ready. Now I will do a training one. Bigger one, bigger one, bigger one, bigger one. Yes, yes. So don't do the mistake from before. But you see the capacity he has. It's amazing how much he very carry inside. He very go inside with the hind legs. Oh boy. Very good. Very good. Very good. So look how close he is to do passage. But I am a little bit half passage, half trot. This is not passage, this is not trot. This is something in between. And my idea is to say, oh boy, you are close. But I am happy with this. You don't, I don't need, you don't need to come in more back now. And he must feel, but I can do a little bit more. And I cannot take the, the I know he can do more, but if I take him more, and then he starts to, oh, but I cannot that much. So I try to ask less, sorry, more intensity, but less compromise. That he coming high in his mind. Very good. Oh boy. I think he will do it. What do you think? Yeah, you have to help me. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Very good. And sometimes I do here on racing thought. And I keep doing because I really want to. Not only that, sometimes I do want to stop, sometimes I keep it to tell him, come on, do more. Come, come. work. As it's I a said, lot of nerve. It's a lot of things happening there. When I work a little bit with Will, Roger, and we, he calm down the horses, always he does this relaxing on the pole. So this point is super important in the riding. Have a soft, have a nice, and immediately it's like when you go to the physio and they, and you say, oh, I feel better. The, it's, it's a specific point. So with the flexion, bending the horse there, bending the horse here, bending the horse here, flexion here, flexion there, and then you go straight and you feel, oh, this is going nice. And this is why you see sometimes riders who say, why is it so easy for them? Thank you.